So we're going to be heading up with Charlie. We're going to fly. It's about an hour and a half to uh, Apalachicola. And we're going to spend the day up there and be back tomorrow. Um, I haven't blogged anything. Today is uh, February 26th of 2002. Uh, I have a lot of videos to put together. It's been a while. So stay tuned. So we're ready to board the plane. The folks are all getting together over there. We just arrived. We're going to be leaving in a few minutes. We just landed. I'm going to head out and kind of look a little bit of this place. Stay tuned. Uh, they have a Mardi Gras here today, so unexpected. So this is the hotel we're staying. It's called the uh, Grady Market. We're on the second floor, right on the where that balcony is sitting. And right now, it's just like I said, they're doing a Mardi Gras, but they also have all these little you know vendor spots so I'm covering right now what our room looks like and this is in the main district of just seeing everything but this is our room got a full kitchen Here's our bedroom, our shower room, our laundry room, and then I'm going to take you over to where our friends, Charlie and Kevin and his wife and Miranda are staying. It's amazing. This is their room. You got a bathroom. See if we can get a light in here. Their bed with a window view and a porch. I want to say this is the grand room with another bedroom. And these guys are all chilling out on the porch. Oh, sh there's a kitchen here. And then coming out here, you have the porch. And these guys chilling out. We have a waterfront view here. We're only here for one day, but I'm going to tell you, we're probably going to have the best time ever. The food is fresh, and the people are awesome. So this is what we have, and the beautiful young lady who's serving it out. Ooh, love it. Thank you. Here's another place that you can stay. Hey, Robinson Brothers here. High Cotton Marketplace. Then they also, they do, two brothers do after your guys in the black. And they're pretty well known and they're good. This is a pretty cool old town, that's for sure. You do, can, bring your vehicle that is battery charged. Uh, there are stations here, believe it or not. We're just walking around. We're heading up uh, one of our, I guess, a microbrew and all. Uh, we drove them from the airport. We rented a car, so now we're just kind of walking around and feeling the place. I've not been here, so I don't know much about it. But um, the folks up in front of me, they've been here, they've stayed here, and they're gonna show us around. Stay tuned. So we're bar hopping. This is one, it's called a half shell. So people bring their dogs to the microbrew. Here's a beautiful dog. 
Look at this dog. What a loving face that is. And that's the other one here who's coming. They want to be pet. I love it. We're currently staying at this one bar here. It's called Desperado. So this place is known for their fishing. And anything that is caught out in the Gulf, it all comes back in here and is served as fresh. Um, looking at this body of water reminds me of the Everglades. It's been a while I haven't fished down there, but I, I definitely have to go out and do a little fishing and put it on YouTube. Here's a really nice boat. So the gentleman you see in the freeze frame, he's the captain of this boat. His name is Doug. Really nice guy. Knows the waters here really well. He's available uh, for booking of all sorts of fishing, uh, depending on the season. I'll leave a card at the end of this video so you guys can give him a call if you're interested in doing a tour of fishing. And power poles. That is nice. Put a jack crate in the back. Sweet. So we're now at the Oyster City Brewery. Uh, we've actually probably bar hopped maybe four or so. Look at this beautiful massive. His name is called Maximus. Isn't he beautiful? All right, if you like oysters, this is the place truly to come and eat oysters. Look at all the oysters these people use to fill so I've been looking at the book in our room. This place was damaged at one time. It wasn't livable. It's pretty cool. A lot of history in this building. But they restored it in a way that I can honestly tell you is beautiful. Uh, just, I guess this is what they call the cellar. And that's what it looks like when it was damaged. Um, more pictures there. Back in the days, there's a black and white. From what I'm understanding, uh, this town was made a long time ago, in the beginning of the time when they were uh, shipping cotton. And they were known for the oysters here. And so you see that rebuilding part of the Apalachicola uh, building. But it's a pretty neat town, I have to say. I like it. And the stay here has been wonderful. Nicely restored. We have a porch out here, I think it's cool. And our buddies are up in front. There's a porch up here. This is the front of the building. So we're in our end of our trip. Our plane is down yonder. And we got we got it loaded up. That's my buddy Charlie, our pilot. And um yeah, we spent a good stay up here for one day. Thanks for watching.